What's up with y'all, man? You know, uh, been a long time since I uh, made any beats, you know? And, uh, you know, if y'all watch my videos, man, I'm sure y'all y'all hear the same sad-ass story every time that, uh, reason being, you know, uh, just because I've been in a dark place here lately, you know what I'm saying, I've been, uh, I've been, uh, I've been depressed, you know, I ain't gonna lie, uh, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, I took a vacation, I mean a week's vacation to work, went ahead and made two weeks, and, uh, that was like a big mistake because, uh, you know, work kind of helped me cope, you know, with some shit. So I just been uh, here at the crib and, you know, that's not always a good thing, you know. Your mind starts taking off, starts racing everywhere, going places you don't want to go, you know. And, uh... Yeah. Um, mainly, you know, the reason being is, you know, that I've been down and out is because uh, I never felt like this, man. You know, when it came to a to a girl, you know, I guess maybe it's because I'm older now. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be fucking around like that, and. Uh, yeah, you know, all my, my ex-girls, I've always missed them. You know what I'm saying? I've always, you know, missed them or whatever, whatnot. But when they left me, you know, somehow I learned to deal with it. And here with the recent ones, I don't know, man. I must really love this girl because I can't, I can't shake it, you know. And I know they say, you know, with time, you know, and uh, when you find another one, you know, you'll kind of slowly get over it. But that was the one for me. You know what I'm saying? I felt like that was the one. You know, that was the girl I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. And I understand when it's over, it's over. You know, ain't no going back. But. Yeah, I was just telling y'all that because, you know, that's why I've been depressed, you know, down and out. But, uh, yeah, man, it's like two something in the morning, I think, probably nearly three. I'm sitting outside like a fool, getting bit up by mosquitoes out here, chilling with my dog, you know, throwing the, throwing the ball a little bit, throwing the ball around for her. She likes to chase his damn tennis ball and, uh, <laughs> and uh that's really man all that's been going on <laughs> yeah, my bad my dog trip um yeah well anyways um uh, I recently uh fired up my computer uh yesterday first time I've done that in months you know what I'm saying hell maybe close to a year because uh, I hadn't made any beats in a very long time. You know what I'm saying? Because every time I would try, I just couldn't come up with nothing. And it's still kind of like that because I've been having trouble, man. Like, I feel like I lost all my, my not that I had talent, but my skills and I ain't have skills neither but I'm not 100% yet but you know I I've made beats don't get me wrong within that long time time period but uh, I never finished them you know I, I would half ass uh, get them started then I'd stop you know I never used to be that type of dude I hated doing that shit you know if I started a project I wanted to finish it I ain't want to just have a bunch of shit accumulating, you know, 
and uh and that's the kind of person I become, you know, and uh so I uh I uh I have a lot of projects, man, that are like half half halfway done and you know, half done and I got a lot of shit, man, that I probably could go open up and, and actually uh, export them, but I just wasn't feeling a lot of them, you know what I'm saying? So that's probably why I didn't, uh, I never really tried to, uh, you know, bounce them and export them, but uh, back to what I was saying, though, man, I recently just uh, started making beats again, you know what I'm saying, and uh Yeah, it uh, it's rough, man. You know, but it's a start. You know what I'm saying? They're not sounding like you know. And I think a lot of a lot of it too is, man, that I'm sick of using the same sounds I had. You know, I'm not too too uh, computer literate when it comes to like programs like that and shit. And uh, well, I guess a lot of time, a lot of the times, a lot of the software that I was using, man, was, uh, crack versions, you know, and, uh, so, you know, you gotta do certain things to make them work, but, like, I really wanna step my game up and get, like, that atmosphere, and, uh, but, of course, you know, I'd have to get my computer shit straight first, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, get the proper hardware that I need, you know, I wanna buy me another I want to switch all my shit over to a laptop, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, probably get like a gamer's laptop or whatever and, uh, start making my beats on, on a laptop, man, you know, and, uh, or I don't know, or just maybe buy me another PC or, you know, give me a few hard drives, you know, with a lot of space get more RAM or whatever the fuck it is, you know, but, uh, yeah, you know, I want to get some of that shit going and, uh, start making some, some new beats with some new sounds, you know, cause I still got the same old basic shit that I've been using, you know, I don't really have nothing fancy and, uh, yeah, I think that's, that'll help me out a lot too. I think it's it's like more of a drag when I try to make beats and, and I'm using the same old sounds. And, but uh, but yeah, I mean that that was the hardest part, man, was getting my mind right to where you know uh, I can get back to make some beats. You know, I had to just learn to tell myself, man, you know, you waited five or six months for this girl to try to contact you and you know I'd be lying if I said I, I hadn't been one to you know hit her up but I, I'm I'm afraid because I'm afraid of what I'll find out you know she got another boyfriend or pregnant or some shit so that's my biggest fear and I've waited quite a while too you know but I've been here hoping this whole time that she would get in touch with me and uh and I'd be telling myself, you know, I hope she's feeling the same way too. Like just at home, wishing I would call her, but I just don't have that I I don't feel that vibe. I feel like she's just forgotten me. And you know, I I know a lot of niggas would be like, Nigga, stop crying over over this girl already, nigga. And just move on with your life, nigga. She's done with you. So it's done and over with. Which, you know, I understand that. I respect that, you know. That's how I should be thinking. But deep down inside, you know, I, I do want to give it a shot. Because what if I, you know, I never get that opportunity. Which I probably don't even have it to begin with. But, like, I remember uh, with the girl before her. You know, I didn't hear from her for a couple of months. Maybe, a, not even, maybe a month. And, uh, it might have been a month or a little longer. I just noticed that everything, just all the contact just stopped. And when I did try to make it right with her, you know, I tried to contact her. 
you know, she tells me that she's pregnant. And it wasn't by me, it was by some other niggas. So I was like, you know, that's why I'm afraid to call this one because it would really devastate me and destroy me, man, if, uh, you know, I knew that I could never be with her ever again, which it's probably already like that. And, and everybody keeps telling me, man, just do it. You, you never, you'll never know. You know, you'll never move forward if you don't get that clarity. You don't get that, uh, um, if you don't get that, uh, what's that word I'm looking for? That, uh, closure. And I agree with him. You know, it's been too long already. You know, I just want her to know that, you know, I would have, and I still will. I do anything for her and them little kids, man. You know, her little sisters. I do anything. You know, I want to start my life with them. I want to be in their life. You know, I want them to have a a male figure they can look up to. You feel me? A lot of niggas ain't gonna talk that way and feel that way and want to do those type of things. But you know, I do. You know, you know, it made me feel good to see them with things and and you know provide for him, you know, that shit made me feel like a, I don't know, it just made me feel good deep down inside, like, like I had a purpose, so, um, I don't know, man, I, I was, I told myself today was the day that I was going to do that, that I was going to try and reach out to her, and I didn't, because I got scared, but, We'll see, man, if I grow the nuts and see if I can get at her. But anyways, uh, yeah, man, uh, I don't want to keep boring y'all with that same shit, you know, even though it's not like I got niggas that watch my videos. But hopefully, man, here, man, soon I'll, I'll get back to posting beats, you know. And uh, hopefully I can upload some new shit finally, you know, it's, it's way overdue, you know, long overdue, and, uh, I just gotta do it, man, I gotta stop bullshitting, man, but, uh, yeah, man, ain't nothing else new, man, ain't nothing else going on, shit, same old shit, man. Just, just me being me, you know, I've always kind of been a depressive person, man, you know, I don't want to be like that no more, you know, I'm really trying to change, you feel me, I'm really trying to change the way I do things, how I look at things, and how I analyze things, and, you know, how I process things, you know. Any damn mosquitoes bad, man. I swear I don't think nobody's got worse mosquitoes in Texas, man. Good Lord, man. They, they will eat you alive, man. For real, for real. Mm. But, yeah, I just had to come sit outside for a little bit, man. I had to breathe some fresh air, you know, give my mind some time to stop overthinking itself, you know, and, uh, that's why I came outside to make this, uh, little video, watch out, Bonnie, I gotta move around, these mosquitoes, man, they, they biting the hell out of me, yeah, man, I, I let that shit get me down so bad that I ain't even, uh, took time to get my my Buick together, man, you know, got me a little Buick, and I ain't even took time to go get the insurance and shit, and, you know, start fixing it up, man, you know, I just been so damn down and out, stupid, you know, but, uh, you know, type of shit will happen, man, if you allow it to, but, uh, yeah, that's a 
about it, man. That's about it. Looking rough, man. I ain't tried to shave this shit. I don't think I want to either, man. I kind of like it. Man, it's a fucked up looking beard, but <laughs> I want to see how wide it'll get. You know. There's a damn dog head, man. Oh. Yeah, so. I saw that's been going on, man. Just bored, man. Bored and lonely. Got you got a nigga doing stupid shit. I almost want to hit a blunt, man. That's how bad this shit got me feeling. You know. I don't know, maybe I'll try that uh, <laughs> CBD weed that they sell right here on the corner. <laughs> Roll a little sweet of that and see what it do. Yeah, but anyways, man, uh, I'm finna go inside, man. I just wanted to let y'all know that, uh, and I got off track, you know, but... I do got the beats and the works, you know, I have been back on, you know, on a computer making beats, so hopefully, man, you know, y'all hear me here soon again, you know, I had a strong run a few years back, you know, and uh, shout out to everybody that's still been asking and checking up on me about that, you know, um, I appreciate that, you know, that kind of helps me keep myself going. But, uh, yeah, man, uh, me and my dog, man, she right here bored, too. We finna probably head back inside the crib, man. These mosquitoes, man, they tearing my ass up, and my ankles are gone. So, I'm going to holler at y'all, man. Y'all be safe out there and uh, think positive, I guess. <sighs> All right, man.